Hey friends, welcome back to Putting Up With The Pom Pons. We are a mother-daughter YouTube channel where we showcase and discuss everything about our natural hair from the way we style and care as well as giving you hairstyle inspiration that is quick and easy to achieve with minimum effort. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications to catch our weekly videos every Saturday and Sunday to all my returning subscribers. Hey mama, hey Bessie, hey friend. It's nice to see you once again. Let's get into today's video. Hey guys, so in today's video, we're doing these natural boho braids. A little bit about Kalia in case you are new to our channel. She is my oldest daughter out of my three girls and she is black and Asian. So she is a biracial child. She has these beautiful, type three curls they have this nice like zigzag spiral to them i have been uh, on her healthy hair journey going on three years since we've started our channel i always would receive compliments about her hair and i've just finally decided to go more in depth in learning hair caring for her hair and just i love seeing the journey that she's been on so of course we have been seeing these uh, trending natural boho braids everywhere i mean if you have not been on social media especially tiktok and instagram they have literally been all over my for you page my news feed all that good stuff i'm going to show you my guy you guys my rendition on how i style her natural boho braids or goddess braids i'm not quite sure what's the correct term for them but i love the concept of them so i'm starting with her hair freshly washed i did not blow dry her hair i've seen where others did blow dry their hair before they started their style but i felt like i didn't want to spend that kind of time doing this style i wanted to also be a protective style for her it's summertime school hasn't started up just yet for her at the time that i put these braids in so i figured this would be a great break from her having to worry about me having to do her hair so i went in with the miel organics twisting souffle and that is going to be my cream and then i am just braiding that down going in with the edge effects conditioning gel for her edges to to make sure those parts are clean and to also help with keeping everything neat as possible so going in with the braids they're pretty much the concept here is just taking out a small strand now Kalia's hair is really long so I was debating on what would be a good amount of strands to take out most people that I seen did this only took out three strands no matter what the length of their hair was so I felt like three strands would be great too plus I expect her hair to you know kind of poof up and experience some of that free Frizziness. Now to get the definition in those curls that we left out, I went in with the All About Curls High Definition Gel. This was my first time using this gel. Like I picked it up while I took a random trip to Sally Beauty and I was really surprised on how well the definition was on this gel. Like I've used plenty of high definition curls, especially on Kalia's hair because usually for her wash and goes, this is product of choice for her wash and goes is some kind of gel. And I mean, look at the beautiful zigzag it created. So I know that some people did opt out and use like foam, but I felt like the foam would not give her the hold that I would want to see. And I would probably have to go in and reapply that foam like every other day if not every day again she is a child she goes outside she plays she does not care about taking care of her hair and so i want to to make this style last and not be pretty much a burden like i wanted it to be a complete protective style so i was a little iffy about living leaving those curls out because of that but i felt like if i used a gel instead of a foam i wouldn't have to worry about going back in and reapplying product and i'm gonna be honest with you guys as protective styles go i am not one to revisit restyling the hair in a protective style if it is in a protective style it is one and done for me i don't go back to reapply oil i don't go back to reapply product um the most i may do is style some edges and that's because I don't want to be bothered. If your hair is in a protective style, that is exactly what it's going to do. Stay in that style. Do not come to me for nothing else. And if it is time for me to touch your head, it's because I am taking the style out and we are going to wash it and redo it.
Now, another reason why I wanted to try this style is because I was seeing a whole lot of like style fails where other people were trying this style out saying it just did not work for them. It was not giving what they thought it was supposed to give. And a lot of people were saying that it was a texture issue. Like the style was only meant for certain textures. And I don't know because I saw people with curly hair like Kalia's who said it was a fail. And I saw ladies with 4C hair like myself or, you know, tightly kinky curly hair um that it, they also said it was a fail so i really think it's the method that you use and the products that you use that will help you achieve the look that you want to see in these boho braids Now, will I call this a true protective style? I don't think so. Um, just because of those curls that are left out, I feel like that just like is prone to damage. It's prone to being played with and tampered with. To me, a protective style is where I leave my hair alone. I do not touch it for anything. The only thing that I was concerned about was it whether or not those curls being left out would be, make a big problem for this style. And that's why I opted out for using gel instead of foam because I didn't want those curls to mat into each other. Now, my original plan for this video was to do like a journey on these natural boho goddess locks or goddess braids. So you can kind of see, you know, our our, how well we kept up with it and I did not I did not keep up with it at all so this is the finished look right here I'm going in now with the black seed baby grow and glow oil I've been using this oil love it to death it has this nice herbal smell and I love herbal smells like eucalyptus peppermint all those good essential oils So this is what her hair looks like after three weeks of holding this style. She held this style in for three freaking weeks. And like I was concerned about those curls matting into each other, that's exactly what they did. And like I said, I did not revisit. <laughs> I did not revisit her hair while it was in this style. This is just it. She went swimming, you know, we rinsed it out or whatever. She's went to sleepovers i'm pretty sure didn't wear her bonnet at all and homegirl was just as happy okay she did not even care so now it's time to take it out she's had it in for three weeks and that's the longest she ever keeps any kind of style and that's just because it's the summertime and she didn't want to be bothered i didn't want to be bothered to be honest with you and you know sometimes we have our neglectful moments that's okay but when it came time to take out these braids i did have to have a lot of patience because of the nodding and dryness of those curls that was left out the braids the braids were fine but those curls were my biggest concern and they did exactly what i thought they were going to do now my final opinion about this style i don't know if i liked it and i can't say that i hated it like it it did serve its purpose it allowed me to give kalia time and space to not have to do her hair for three weeks and that's always a plus for me where i'm not constantly having to battle her and her wash days um but i i mean i like the concept of it i just i don't know if the curls leaving it out part was i don't think it was a fit for our lifestyle because I'm just way too busy to have to constantly keep worrying about making sure those curls are defined and detangled and not matting. It just, it wasn't my cup of tea in that area, but it was a cute, you know, nice little trend to try. And we love trying new trends around here. But in my book, I think her hair held up pretty well for me to do a one and done with this style just braided it and left it alone leave your hair alone allow it its time and its space so this is all her beautiful hair it is now time for me to wash this mess and we will see y'all next weekend where we achieve another wash and go for kalia we will see y'all on another one thank you guys for joining us on another tutorial we greatly appreciate having y'all do not forget to hit that like button let us know any other trendy styles you would love to see here on our channel and don't forget to check out our many other tutorials here for the girls as well.